Well, hi all. <coughs> Welcome back to the John Deere B tractor restoration. And just a video regarding the cylinder head of the tractor. Now, as you can see, I brought it back from the machine shop. Um, in the end, we put in four new valves and valve guides, which are those things inside springs. Uh, in the end, actually, the exhaust valves that I took out were actually quite good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take them out before I ordered the new ones, as it were. Uh, so the exhaust valves would actually have gone back in. But the inlet valves, I don't know if we can see them here, the inlet valves are quite, the, quite badly um, eaten into. They would have probably reclaimed, but I decided that uh, for the cost of them, uh, two new ones would be not a problem. Um, the exhaust valves, as I say, they're quite good. Um, in fact, very good. So, well, there you go. I didn't look first to, um, to check them. So we bought two new ones of each. The, um, if I can just sit it up. I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos regarding a slight blemish in, I think it was in this exhaust valve seat. Um, but anyway, the guy that I did the work for me, he managed to cut it back without a problem. And so they're all, um, they're all good. Yeah, all leveled up again, as they should be. And uh, as you can see, we gave the head a very, very light skimming. Didn't need much off it at all, just to level the ball a little, little bit. But uh, it's fine, that now. That's good. Um, the only problem we had was uh, he asked me whether I wanted him to pressure test the head, check it wasn't cracked. <laughs> and um, of course, it leaked. And um, I pretty well knew where it would be leaking. It was one of these, um, one of those um, push rod tubes. Now they go through the head like so, through that, this hole here. And there's one there. On that side and um, as you can see they're very badly pitted those and one of them has a slight it's only a small hole but it has a hole in it and so that was a the problem there so I've taken those out pushed them out um, made a tool actually this time the last ones I did I just tapped them out but they didn't tap out very well so I made a proper tool this time and um, I need to pull them out so, and then I've got myself a piece of copper tube, as you can see a bit of copper bar there, with a hole down the middle. Obviously we'll have to um, drill that hole out, make it bigger, and then machine the outside down so, it's, um, so it fits, fits these holes. These, um, these uh, push rod tubes actually are slightly tapered. There's about 10 foul difference between um, one end and the other. And so when you're machining them on the lathe, you've got to take that into account to make them. And then what you do is you push them in, push them in like so. Um, as you can see, that's a nice fit there. When you put it in the other end, it's very tight. And you push them in from the cylinder head side so you're pushing them in that way and uh, it locks them all together with them having that slight taper on. Um, those are steel I mean I took a head to bits uh, about 18 months ago and they were copper in that one they were perfectly all right but those two are steel uh, I don't know why I mean I'm not too, you can still buy them new old stock and um, you can't get them in the UK but you certainly can get them in America um, I'm not too sure if they're steel or copper, the replacement ones. Um, if I had to guess, I would say the steel on this head, because of course this head is possibly uh, wartime, and copper was at a shortage. It was obviously wanted elsewhere. So they obviously made some out of steel. Um, uh, these ones, as I say, the replacements will be made out of this copper bar here, copper rod. So, yeah. So yeah, just a quick video. As I say, the head looks good. I will just strip it back down because there's a lot of them my filings inside there from machining work and I'll clean it all out again and um, rebuild it and it'll be great spot on you know, 
Very good. Just a quick video. All right then. Thank you. Bye.